Greetings, sending you all some warm, positive vibrations. This is Body Culinary. And I wanted to share with you just some ideas for like super easy styling, almost like no styling, easy styling. If perhaps you have very, very fine hair and you just want to simplify, just simplify and streamline your life. And I'm also just going to share with you what I'm up to. So I'm a very early riser and we have several things that we're sprouting and growing. So already watered. Um, I fertilized this morning. So you want to fertilize and water between four and 6 a.m. So I'm going to chat about that before I run off to the market because of course I want to supplement what I'm growing, which is not to full scale. Well, I could survive off of what I have here, yet I like the variety. So in any event, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Body Culinary, professional chef, personal trainer, mother, natural born woman. Shout out to you, whatever your expression is. And on this channel, I like to share some of my journey of radical self-acceptance, really celebrating and appreciating the unique features that I have been gifted with this time around on the planet. I also love to share three lifestyle practices, three leverage lifestyle practices, long way in serving us way into your future, into your senior years, and really dramatically improve the quality of your life. And they're, they're practices that we all have access to. So let me make sure I have some water. So grab your water and a wine glass and stay tuned. <clears throat> Can't ever have too much hydration. So now I just spilled something over. You see that? Me being quick, 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 quick. No worries. Okay. One of my sprout. Okay. So I've got some water. Got a rag here. So I can clean up this little spill. And okay, so let's get down to business. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are we growing today? We're growing several things. And let me also say that this is so easy. This is so easy, almost like no styling, styling. Like someone was telling me to call it like a beach wave, but I didn't even add any curlers and I basically did no work. So, today, here's my makeup fenugreek, the same fenugreek that I'm rinsing my hair with, I'm using on my eyebrows. I'm using, um, raw shea butter on my eyelashes and a little touch of mascara and i don't really like greasy lips however today i put a little bit of shea butter because i my lips already feel hydrated um a little bit of shea butter with a little bit of a lip gloss that's it and i put a little bit of the dab the lip gloss and shea butter on my cheeks <laughs> that's it that's it no products at all on the hair so How's that for easy styling if I want to look a little dressier or more of a glow? My primary products, though, are coming from the inside, from the food that I'm eating. So before I forget um, some things that are available, uh, natural beauty, no products, and whole living foods in the hood. Greetings, Tamiko. <laughs> How are you, Tamiko? Hope your day is off to a great start. So I'm getting ready to run out to the market. So this is a guide. If you don't have this guide and you're looking to transition to whole fresh living foods, everything that I'm doing is in there, just years and years of experience, as well as it's food and my movement practice that cleared up my skin. So the different things I've used in my hair before it locked, it was food inside and on the hair and scalp. I threw it in my shower caddy, uh, as well as, you know, for conditioner, all of that. It's just the food. I'm paying all this money wholesale, growing it. I'm using the food inside and outside. So is pure freedom because over here in this little corner of the internet natural bodies matter and if you're interested in coming along for coaching and community around uh, whole living foods and fitness and nutrition as well as life coaching um check out the discord link uh, also if you're just interested in community of folks that have similar interests and a healthy lifestyle. I love to come together around activities. Check out the Discord link. All right, so uh, feel free if you find value here to subscribe to the channel or perhaps uh, share it with someone who could use some benefit and support. Okay, so um, what I'm doing, this is so easy. This is so easy. And if your hair is um, really, really short, um, I think this would even look even better, right? Because my hair is very fine and cottony. If I twisted it, you'd see my whole scalp. All of the locks are flat. 
All of them are flat. Um, it grows away from the scalp. I, I don't sweat any of that because eventually it grows together. So as I've watched so many different channels over the years, all the tutorials, they never came out the same on my hair because it's so fine. And I'm constantly learning about the hair. So these are mature locks that were uh, light, fluffy, double strand twists, and this is them mature, right? So these are still a bit rounded um, over here in the ends. I'm sure these will break off. And now um, it's only about 30, 30, two locks now, a couple of them are growing together. So they're all flat and I'm not sweating it. Actually, I've embraced it. Hey, greetings, Dora. Because I find this is just, I'm going along for the ride of what my hair wants to do. I'm going along for the ride of what my skin wants to do. And if you have acne, I feel you. I had so much white heads, black heads, cystic acne. It was like, it was, it was painful. <laughs> Healthy dose of vanity, it was a little, it was very uncomfortable right? Um, however, I knew intuitively that I needed to leave my body alone so it can heal. The body knows what to do. It knows how to level itself off to a healthy weight. If we stop giving it substances that are masquerading as food and just eat real food, food with living water. So I know a lot of people like to say raw vegan. I don't think the labels um, are necessary. There are distinctions in terms of what you want in your food and what you don't. However, Overeating are things that we don't um, consider. Food um, digestion, freshness, quality, these all these other things that I think are so much bigger than the label. Whoever you are, all of us can benefit from more whole, fresh, living, unprocessed foods with those fresh um, fruits and then vegetables. That's my money for the body. You know how we do over here, Tamiko. Make it rain with the greens, right? <laughs> and then nuts and seeds in moderation and um, fresh spices. Thank you. They look thick, but they're, they're actually not. And this is what I'm saying. It's part of the beauty of freedom here. For those of us women that are so concerned about um, fine hair, um, hairline, not having thick locks, here's the benefit. This is like, it's right underneath our nose. It's embracing what the natural texture does. When I tell you I'm not doing anything, okay, so let me get to my quick, easy styling because it just gets quicker and quicker. So I have these different sleeves. I've also made some, but um, I have several um, because I don't like to tie my hair up yet. Um, I always, my hair gets caught in the oregano bush out in the garden. So y'all want to know this simple style? This is help, help set you free, girl. Freedom here. So this is all I'm doing, right? I may um, spritz it with like a lot of times, just water. Uh, call me simple. Water. If you have distilled water, you can do all that. But I'm just about easy breezy. So I just take a little bit of water and smooth it because water is moisturization, not oil. Then I put the little sleeve on and I do several things with the sleeve. If I want to act like it's a scully out in the garden, whatever I'm channeling. So here's what I'm doing. Here's the secret, y'all. This is so easy. So if you hit slightly damp, not wet, I take my fingers and I'll go like this. I put a little roll. This is so easy. Bow. And I tuck it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's it. That's all I do. And you can do this. This is like no rollers. Oh my God. I'm all about the freedom. I have other things to do with my time. I want to bicycle ride. I want to go on my roller skates. I want to dance on my little fitness pole. I want to go in the garden. I want to play with the bunnies. I want to roll on the floor. I want to do yoga. I want to play. So I don't have time. Nobody got time for it. Well, you have time for whatever you make time for it, but this is just not my priority. I've done all of that before. I've had it really, really short. I've had double strand twists. I'm all about the ease. So all I do is I make almost, I'm doing it really quick because I got to go. My sister's going to come calling me really soon. So all I'm doing is I'm tucking this under. If I'm going into the garden, I'll add one of my snazzy jazzy. I have one to wipe my face off because it's been going up to over 100 degrees. And then I have my other little scarves that I'll tie into um, a triangle and put on top, right? So I don't have all that garden stuff. So again, I'm just taking my fingers and making little rolls, maybe about five or six of them, and I tuck it. That's it. And when I tell you do this overnight or something, when you take it off, it's like, oh my gosh, you have your little wave. Now, if your hair is um, shorter, because I'm just getting some length um, on my hair and I do cut it, I do trim it from time to time, just psychologically, just holding on to things that are old. I'm like, don't be trying to preserve the hair, trying to stick needles through. And I did that for a hot second repairing locks. And I'm like, my hair is so thin and fine. I tried that thing with the, um, the wicking my hair ripped to shreds. So this, this hair has told me every single time, 
please, sis, leave me alone. I'm not down for all of that. So that's it. That's it. If you leave it like this, you don't need curls or rollers. If your hair is shorter, I would do, if my hair was still out loose, double strand twist because my hair locked when I was traveling, uh, I would do very, very loose double strand twists and I would do the same style. They have a couple of go-to styles and it's, it gets freer and freer. So you can decide where you want your part. Um, now that I've got a little bit of length, I play around with, I can still keep the middle part and I can take, because um, I only have about 30, 31 locks. It ain't a lot just because my hair is not dense. And I'll take it and I'll fold it over to the side. So that gives me a whole nother variety to play around with. And then I still have um, a middle part. And so that's it. That gives me like a nice wave. So I'm just taking it off now, but it gives me a wave. No curl is sticking me in my head. No muss, no fuss. I'm about that simple life. <laughs> Green, girl, you got to try it. Let me know. Take a picture. Let me know. Share. So let's, I don't have to be a prisoner to foundation. I could if I want. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe one of my um, my homies, she comes to visit me. When she comes to travel, she'll show me. But for the most part, I need to go sweat. I need to jump on the bike. I need to do this. Um, sometimes dust sticks to my face inside of the garden. So maybe I'll do it for a photo shoot. But for the most part, I don't know. I just... I don't know, sometimes even with mascara, sometimes it feels so artificial. So I like to say I retrain my eyes, right? I do understand when you're on camera and stage and dancing, you want your eyes to pop. But a lot of times I'm just like, I just feel so, I feel free. I don't know if y'all can relate. So I like feeling my lips and all that. I like a, a, a little glow, but all that foundation, I'm, I'm not lazy. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I want to go and play. I want to go and play. Oh, I didn't put the link for the Discord. See, I should have put that up um, before. So that's all I'm doing for the hair. Again, if your hair is and if it's loose and you have very fine hair, I would do um, light double strand twists. Perhaps if my hair was still loose, I would do maybe a little bit, a little bit of like uh, of oil, right? But this is different. I'm not using oil. I'm not using moisturizer. I'm not doing anything. Um, periodically, I'll use a light um, natural shampoo, which is in a community um, section. And in between that, I'm using fenugreek now. I've added more fenugreek, no polys, aloe, um, rosemary. I have a rosemary cucumber mist because, oh, and I just started um, sprouting. So I broke my computer, Ugh, not the computer, what do you call that thing? The phone. I dropped my iPhone 11. It's like busted. So I have such an active lifestyle. I had a case on everything. It just hit so hard in the garden. I'm taking all my pictures, my food. <laughs> so I would love to share. I just have some roses just, that just open. So I just have this thing. If I'm using it to luxuriate, I want it in my yard. And I'd love to have some more of you flowers around me. So you can trade me some marigold. Or if you got some lavender or some of my seeds didn't bust in my yard, you have some. I know Queen Ra is over there working on her strawberries. So at some point, I'm going to have um, a garden party. So you got that loose double strand twist. You can roll it and you can just tuck it under and just keep it moving because we got things to do. We got to go to the garden. We got to put our skates on. So uh, also what I was saying, right, I can take um, several of these and I can put it over to the side and I can tuck it or you can pin it a little bit and you have a little side part. Sometimes I'll put a little scarf over it, but no muss, no fuss. I'm embracing the fro. It looks thicker because it's fluffy at the root and because instead of having thick locks, which I do not, look, this is most of my locks, right? And it's still all this space in there. So instead of having thick locks, they're wide and they're flat. See, all of them are flat. Don't make me know, never mind. I mean, let me tell you, there's freedom and just embracing and rocking what you have and focusing on your food. My number one product is health. <laughs> my number one product is health. My skin was looking like the sidewalk. My movement practice, so you know those three lifestyle practices, garden therapy, your personal movement practice, and peaceful consumption, food that loves you back. So I know a lot of times I was a food addict, a, a food junk food junkie. Every high end, low end junk food, that was me. So to me, it is, I feel so fortunate. I'm so amazed that I don't crave those things. Popcorn, I was a barbecue potato chip fanatic. And then have the audacity to wonder why my face is looking like Pop Rocks. Oh my gosh, that was, look at the community section. You can see my skin was looking like the sidewalk. <laughs> so is the fenugreek good for thinning edge? Yes, you can do the fenugreek um, uh, 
on the side. But this is what I would say. This one person, I'm not a trick trichologist, right? A hair doctor. But what I can say from experience of someone with fine hair and very fine edges, I'm lucky I have some edges, y'all. Number one, leaving it alone. We're just doing, we're doing the mostest. We're doing the mostest to a particular hair type, if this is your hair type, that doesn't like the mostest. My skin doesn't like to be, it does it flourishes. It flourishes with sweating. It flourishes with sleep. Same like my body. It flourishes with sleep, sweating, and a movement practice. It flourishes with relaxation. It flourishes with greens. That's why I'm always like, make it rain. Money for your body, the greens. And it flourishes with whole living foods. So the product, literally the product is from putting the food inside first. Numero, it's a hummingbird over here. First from the inside, right? And then also our head is up here, right? To your movement practice is helping all of that healthy food, water rich, living water rich food circulate throughout your body. So you can get the nutrition to all the different parts of your body. If we're sitting down too much, then our circulation is compromised and we will start to, our muscles will start to atrophy and sag from lack of use. They need to be safe, safely challenged. So the fenugreek also as a nutrient is good for, um, for thinning edges. Right, um, no foundation here. And listen, I'm not the hair police, the food police, the makeup police. I can appreciate a makeup. There was, I'm not making it up. There are some self-proclaimed hoes. I'm not making the word up, not to be derogatory, but they flaunting it proudly. And I will learn from you if you a fluffy, 300 pound, self-proclaimed hoe, gardener, Chinese. I'm getting information that I need. And I can have respect for everybody and the unique gifts that um, they bring. So I've been learning from everybody. And um, even folks that, um, you know, that are working on not breaking off their hair. Now, I may look a little different. And I may, I will likely have to be innovative because my hair is just not doing all those things. So I'm in acceptance. I'm not, I'm no longer forcing my hair to try to do what it don't do. And the no friction on the hair. You know, there will always be that temptation to slick the edges down. I'm I'm not doing that. Also, I'm a mature woman. I don't need baby hair. Maybe I'll get a little natural baby hair when I'm sweating from a workout. But that's about it. But the fenugreek, you can um, make it. It's very mucilaginous, similar to the aloe and similar to the nopales. So it's very, it's like, it's so surprising. And these are things that you can buy in bulk and they're very, very um, inexpensive. So I love to go to different um, neighborhoods and different uh you know, I've gone to the Russian Ukraine neighborhood, the African spot, Korean spot, um, Chinatown. These are some of my favorite stomping grounds. It's very adventurous to me. So I usually will find where their fruits and vegetables are and where their spices are. So y'all got to come down and hang out with me. <laughs> so we could go hang out at these different markets and go to the river and all that other stuff. So the fenugreek, you can buy in bulk at an Indian grocer. So that's a little tip. You can buy it on Amazon. Or I guarantee you'll have a little adventure if you go over to one of the Indian shops. And I like to, even if I see a spice blend that I like, I'm always like, I'm going to make it fresh. So I like to get the raw, uh, the whole ingredient. It's different than what has been ground and oxidized on the shelf. So sometimes I like to play. I got a, numerous martyr and pestles. I'm attracted to martyrs and pestles and ancient hand tools, traditional hand tools. So I like to grind it because I can smell the fresh oils and the perfumes that are inside right so they're very um the olfactory the the senses the the scent i think it's also very stimulating and relaxing and healing so these are ways that i'm luxuriating right and um i'm having a ball <laughs> with myself so fenugreek you can make a tea you can make a conditioner or um a hair mask you can even make a gel you just want to make sure you strain it really well and hold it inside of a squeeze bottle hey i'll, I'll show you mine I have it in several different forms. So, so this is one of the ways that I have it, right? So this is the fenugreek um, as a gel. But I'll use it for a tea. I can use it as a, a rinse. So let me see if I can show you the texture. That's just fenugreek. And I love things that are like one ingredient from the whole food. So I buy that in bulk. Look at the texture. Right. And what's really nice, it's water based. So I do see some subtle distinctions between the nopales, the videos on this channel, the aloe and the nopales, excuse me, and the fenugreek. Now, this one of the things I like about it, it reminds me of like, you know, 
when you have certain channels, when Natural Hair come out with their own products with water-based products, right? I have a very interesting brown color. This reminds me of water-based products that I, I probably spent $30 for. It doesn't leave, um, like when it dries, it doesn't look like dandruff, like, you know, like dried snot or something in your hair. And it rinses away very easily. So I'm not concerned about um, buildup, right? So this would be, it, this reminds me of the texture of, let me see if you can see, of like those water-based products. And I put it on my, I put it on my face. So I'm all about, you know, the tight skin and I like to be comfortable without makeup. So I'm big on the quality of my food. Certain things I've done other, I spent a million dollars on clothes. I'm not doing it. I'm just not, it's not worth it. And then I'm big, I'm old school. You know how, um, you know how black women are, honey. You got to take it. If you was, whatever you're making in the kitchen, and it has like an interesting vanilla -y spice kind of scent to it. And it, this, it reminds you of like, almost like I make a flax gel, which you'll see inside of um, Natural Beauty No Products. It makes my skin feel very um, tight, very, very tight. And as someone that's had a lot of acne, um, when the acne heals, it can leave you with a lot of um, big pores, right? So also if you're eating refined sugar, if you're eating, and I do have a list, if you're eating refined sugar, that can also contribute to you having enlarged pores. If you're eating lots of hydrogenated fats um, or fake fats or imitation fats, and then you double, triple fry, fry the fats, and in many fast food restaurants, they're reusing the oil, right? So this is contributing to, it's taxing the liver, and it's also contributing to what we're seeing on our face. So um, eating lots of healthy food and lots of junk food back in the day, health junk, um, it took me a while. It took me some years to figure out how I kept the cycle of acne going because that was so frustrating. My skin would get clear and then I have one knuckle on my face. That was like, mm -mm. it was too much. That was too much. What are you saying, Queen Bay? No foundation here too. It feels so freeing. Yes. What'd you say, Dora? She said, your skin is flush. I don't use foundation. I love my bare skin. Your melon's popping. Thank you, girl. My, I would say that it's flawless, but honey, I'm into all about the preservation because it doesn't make sense to me to spend a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars on La Mer cream. And I'm all about the quality, right? And I'll talk to my different friends, you know, we do um, different things. And in one of the industries I was in, you know, folks pride themselves on really the best products for the skin. But why, I mean, why am I spending a hundred dollars on a cream and not eating fresh food with water in it that's hydrating? I'm just going to put something in the, the top layer of the dermis, right? To plump the skin. That makes no sense to me. And then I don't move my lymphatic system, right? I'm not pumping my lymphatic system with movement. And then I'm putting all these chemicals because they have to have a preservative um, in them for shelf life and for profit. I remember the last product that I bought in the food co-op or I started to buy, it was some kind of cucumber scrub. And I was like, wait a minute, you just went to the wholesaler and bought a case of cucumbers. And right now, I remember back then, organic cucumbers were almost $10 a pound. So three cucumbers was costing me a, a lot for big cucumbers. And I was like, you... And you're juicing and smashing this stuff in a plant milk bag. I said, no, we're going to, we're going to X name on this right here. And I started putting food on my face. Yes, I did. I mean, even in the gym, some of my coworkers saw me put food on my face. I'm like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm putting food on my face. <laughs> so, hey, it's working for me. You got to work. You can laugh. I don't care. People been laughing for a long while. I keep laughing. Keep laughing. Anyway, let me show you all what we're up to. So that was a quickie hairstyle. Let me just show you some of what we're sprouting. So I just put several trays. I just put some new, and I'll see how I'm working around my camera because um, the camera broke my camera screen. Anyway, um, planted some new um, organic tomatoes from seeds that I saved. And um, collards. I have some collards that are doing well. Um, I put out some new kale. Now, some of the kale... It really is supposed to plant. Remember this, um, Queen Ra? Well, it depends on your zone. So you want to check and see what zone. I'm in a very hot climate. So ideal, you want to water and plant between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. or 4 a.m. and 4 p.m., right, when it's not so hot. And initially, I was very stubborn with this. I didn't get it because I didn't grow up in a tropical environment, but I learned your stuff will die. It's a lot of things. Don't be afraid to, to so-called fail. That's feedback. That's how you're going to learn. 
it's too hot. Sometimes almost like putting boiling water on the root and the noonday sun is too hot. It's going to kill your plants. But we'll talk more about that. And flower fit. So the link for flower fit coaching and community is there. Uh, do fill out the application so that we can screen you so that we know who is in there, right? Because we're not going to do this whole troll business. Anyway, okay, so I got to go to the market. So I have several different types of, um, these are just starting to sprout. So this is only like after a day, right? So I don't know if you can see some of them. Some of them have tails. Let me see if I can find one. This one has a tail. Oh, can't see in there. This already has a tail. So I'm the type of person, I will grow in anything, right? And this is to catch the water. So I'm just using some of my cloths to um, filter out some of the light. And I'm also experimenting with flax that did not take. So this experiment, we'll see how this looks really dry. So then if you have to-go containers, you can really use those to sprout. Um, some things you'll need to keep moist. That one did not bust open, but that was only been there for a day. So got to be patient. Then also, um, this is a grow tail. Ground nuts, which I use for protein. Ground nuts or peanuts can be very hard to digest. They are a legume. They're high in protein. I can do a lot with a ground nut. If you have a lot of acne, um, that could be one of the reasons why your skin is breaking out. It is very, very tempting to reach into a bag of cashews, especially if they got curry and different kinds of seasoning on it. Mm. <laughs> but your face will be looking like pop rocks. So also, um, a lot of times we're not digesting properly because a lot of the foods will have a covering on it that um, nature's have their own poisons sometimes and coverings to keep them from sprouting until it's time to sprout and to protect them from being eaten by animals. So sprouting for legumes, right? A lot of people just throw their lentils or whatever inside the pot or their beans and they don't soak them. This is one of the reasons why we have stinky gas stinking up the place. So now I'm experimenting with um, organic and non-organic um, uh, soy, organic, because I want to grow some edamame. So I've tried this several times, didn't work. One time I got one edamame. So I'm still working with it, right? So don't be afraid to fail. That's only feedback, right? And these are um, trays uh, that I just recycled from some microgreens from a local farmer. I'm still in water. So this one is like a staple. This is so easy. This is so fail safe. So there are different types of lentils. You have green. You have the pink little teeny ones that are used in dal. These are also used in Indian dal. I love Indian food. Um, they're all different types of lentils. I prefer organic, but I will use whatever I can. Um, if you've taken the, um, the preparedness, food preparedness and food preservation workshop. So um, that's available on the website. Um, and you can take that at any time. So you can see how I'm storing food all the time. So when that so-and-so demic hit, there wasn't much I needed to do. But I did re-up and double up on my supplies. But because this is a lifestyle, I wasn't sweating anything because there are a lot of things that I can store for protein that are satiating, that don't need to be um, refrigerated. So this is among um, the list of things. And I can flip these as with any ingredient. I'll flip it every which way to Sunday. Right to me, which is honoring the ways of our mothers and our grandmothers, because we couldn't shop um, with everyone. Some people are on a spending plan, and also it cuts down on the amount of time that you have to go out and keep shopping if you know how to flip your ingredients. Right. So this one is doing really well because it's very, very hot. So this is only like a day and a half. Look at this. So this is this is another mung bean. The first one I showed you. This is one mung bean. Look at the difference in the quality. So I see, do you see, look at the germination rate on this one. This is only like a day and a half, right? And once you sprout them, you want to flip them back and forth into um, different recipes. Okay, so here's another experiment. All right, I told you I grow in all kinds of containers. So this one, I see this just starting to sprout. These are either alfalfa or clover. These are alfalfa. These are just starting to germinate. I just start, I'm just starting to see a little tail on there. And I did it like a double layer, right? So you basically you want to block the sunlight out, right? For the blackout period. So um, I have some corn. We're growing some corn in the garden. Sometimes um, the birds will come and eat the corn before we ever get to taste any organic corn, but that's okay. 
because it's good to have something for lizards. We have lots of lizards, a couple of garden snakes. Um, let's see, and they're different types of birds. So if there's something that they can eat that is helpful for them to stay off <laughs> of my greens and it, you know the other things that I want to eat. So someone was asking me, I think it was yesterday, the day before, uh, I was constru I'm constructing a rabbit run, right, for my bunnies. So they was like, okay, that's great. You want to keep the rabbits away? And I was like, no, I don't want to keep the rabbits away. I'm making an area for them to run and play because their natural behavior. First of all, I never wanted to get pets, right, for years because it reminds me too much of slavery. However, I rescued some from the market. And uh, for them to have their natural behaviors, which they'll run and do little um, jumps and leaps, that shows that they're very happy and they're content. They're not meant to be in cages. So I free roam the bunnies. So I want to make an area for them outside that's in case so that the big cats that are around can't eat my bunnies. So they also, they give me their manure, right? And they're one of the few creatures that give you cold manure, which you don't have to cure. So that is excellent for amending your soil, right? So that you can start to cultivate um, good, healthy soil. Didn't know how to use, who's this? Jack didn't know how to use shea butter on the lips. You didn't know how to use shea butter on the lips, child. I'm the queen of one thing does a hundred things. I do shea butter on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I also use castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I use the flax milk that you see inside of Natural Beauty No Products. I use that. That feels like a fantastic lotion. And I love these things. They make my skin nice and tight. But first of all, it's from the inside. From the inside. Where's my water? Hold on. Water break. Hopefully you have your water in a wine glass. So with the flax milk, so literally think of all of these things. Hopefully if you're buying in um, the bulk section, there's so many uses um, for these foods. It To me, it's an art. It is an art. I take it. I'm very passionate about it, right? And my son used to say, mommy, people don't, um, don't understand how you're eating, right? So I'll take, I'll just look around and see whatever's in here. And I'll just say, mm, I feel like making something. And I don't really need a recipe, but that's only because by this time I understand the principles of flavor balancing, um, food combination, which is really important, not just so you don't have stinky gas, but also so you're absorption, absorbing, you have maximum absorption of the micronutrients in the food. Many of us are only thinking of the macronutrients, proteins, fats, carbohydrates. And I've had numerous clients say, oh, you would be so proud of me. I don't eat any carbs. And I'm like, you want to put that into a context because you're either going to get your nutrition from fat or carbs. Now you can choose whatever ratio you may try you on different ratios so that you over time can find your sweet spot. It is a process. It is a process. It is a process. So come on over to flower fit coaching. <laughs> so shout out. So um, we have different sunflower seeds outside. I have different, several different types of sunflower seeds the black oil, sunflower seeds, and then another local sunflower seeds. So as you embrace, hopefully you're encouraged to embrace and start growing something. Everybody can grow something, even if you're in a cold city. That's how I started. I'm the queen of if you pay rent or mortgage, you maximize your home as your sanctuary. To me, it's a, it's a whole nother art. All the time, sometimes you spend out in these clubs, y'all, you can paint. I used to love to go dancing. You make your home your sanctuary. So you're enticed to go into your stretch area, your movement area. You're enticed to go into your kitchen to prepare food. You may want to put classical music on or some Afrobeat, or you may want to turn off everything and just listen to the sound of the birds. If you don't have a whole lot of birds, you may want to put some 4K nature. You can find it on, um, on uh, YouTube or just put some sounds of nature on so you can relax. It's a living meditation. So it's like, I love it. You can zone out. It's a wonderful way to zone out drug-free. <laughs> The food combinations make a big difference. If you're new or perhaps you're trying on, we don't need the label, but if you're new, maybe you're trying vegan or raw vegan, the labels don't, it's, it's, labels is not the ultimate because it's very easy. I've been there. It's very easy to ego trip about the labels. There's no way around you experimenting to find out what works for you. If your weight is not a healthy weight for you, if you have a lot of additional unhealthy adipose tissue, which is the technical term for fatty tissue, if you have a lot of acne, rather than make your body bad or wrong, give thanks. It's still working. Your body is giving you a communication that something is off. Perhaps your um, colon is backed up. 
perhaps you're putting something in that's aggravating it. Perhaps your body is having a response to eating recreationally, primarily, just having a party in your mouth and not thinking of the cells and eating all of these substances that are masquerading as food. And as somebody that was a junk food junkie and even a health food junkie, I had to wrap my mind around that. And I think perhaps what I've observed is that many people don't go to another level because you can't picture you, you can't picture all the variety. You can't picture the fun. You think it's so expensive. So that's perhaps where you can shorten your learning curve. You don't have to buy five million products, every protein powder. It's the whole real food. Even when I was uh, doing uh, fitness competitions and I used to date a professional bodybuilder, all the time we go to him and somebody said, what do you eat? And he was like, why did they ask me that question? I eat food. I eat food. We don't have all this stuff in my country. So, you know, people compliment him on his body. And the old school bodybuilders who had didn't have these like um, – kind of almost, I don't know, it's like muscle, I don't want to say deformation, but that had more of a, um, almost more of a gymnastic aesthetic, real food. And the bodybuilders um, and fitness people that have longevity, food, stretching, relaxation, and balancing out that workout. So there's your movement practice. There's your movement practice. Yeah, so what you say, Omar, you're so right about the food combinations. That could be a big Thing, a big reason why you're either carrying lots of water retention and also why you keep triggering acne. I know that to me was so um, frustrating. Also, a huge one is sleep. Many of us not sleep. That's a big Achilles heel for me sometimes is the sleep. And especially as you start to become more seasoned, it's almost impossible sometimes for your body to level out um, to a healthy weight effortlessly if you're not sleeping. So body doesn't care about all your fancy ideas. It needs what it needs. It needs those micronutrients. It needs sunlight. It needs sleep. It needs whole, fresh living foods and living water. That's a big distinction from all the very processed foods. When I look at the, um, the different vegan and healthy sites, a lot of the times we still have a fried chicken, hot dog, pizza mentality, but we just call it health food and we're getting it from the health food store. So sometimes it's still greasy. Sometimes it's still very high in sodium. And a lot of times very processed, which has a lot of omega-6s in it, which is not good for the brain. So just because, you know, these food tricks, they'll put organic on it. Sometimes organic, organic things are grown sometimes with pesticides, right? Sometimes you can find organic foods with no seeds in it. You know, so the more you start working with the whole foods, your discernment, your eyes will change. Your eyes will change. Just like when you start embracing your hair, you'll start to retrain your eye. And you can find what works for you in your hair that is stress-free. So I just wanted to come on. Look at the time is flowing. I just wanted to come and check in with you. Invite you all. Check out the Discord label so you can come into um, Flower Fit Coaching and Community. So if you're interested in gardening, fitness, personal movement practice, and I have a lot of things planned, but my plate is so full, so I have to pace myself so that I can sleep more, because that is an Achilles skill for me. So just uh, sending you all a shout out to Miko, Dora, uh, everybody's gardening too, and Jackson, uh, Diane, or Diane Jackson. Let me know are you uh, if you're growing anything, and feel free to share in the community section. Uh, I am on TikTok as Quasa with a K, peaceful, like full belly eating. Um, Quasa the Peaceful Eating on Facebook. It is also Body Culinary on Facebook and also on Instagram. So between them, I will share some of the foods that I'm making in the time that I have. Because I have to get to the bunnies and finish making this um, this bunny run. So invite you all to create a great day on purpose just because you said so. Let me know. Have you started your garden? And you know, have you ever wondered what is it that your hair can do? What would it look like, you know? Um, do you think that your hair looks nice in a low maintenance style with your natural texture? It's not bad or wrong. Whatever you choose to do, we're all on a journey. So create a great day. I'll see you soon. Like, comment respectfully, and subscribe.